Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Let me put this coffee down before I spill it. There we go. <laughs> I am so glad that you stopped by the house today and I'm excited to just kind of sit down and talk about my love and my heart for all things cozy home inspiration. This time of year especially, the days are only getting colder, it is January, it's dreary, and I thought it'd be the perfect time to sit down and share some tips and ideas how you can create a cozy home that is warm and inviting and enjoyable for not only you, but your family as well. I think we all crave that, but especially this time of year. So I think that these tips really apply to everyone, no matter what your home style is, what your budget is, where you're at in life, everyone can use a little bit more cozy. So let's go ahead and dive into it. This first tip is a little bit elementary and it probably goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> you truly want to create an atmosphere that is cozy, that invites you in, that helps you unwind from the chaos of life, then your home needs to be free of unwanted clutter. And when I say unwanted clutter, uh, I mean anything that doesn't bring you joy, anything that no longer serves a purpose for you and your family, or maybe something that you thought could serve purpose, but really in the day-to-day -day of your normal life just isn't functional for you. Uh, I would definitely recommend assessing every room in the house, assessing uh, maybe some excess things that you have, consider selling or donating, and move on from there. Then in the same way that you wanna get rid of unwanted clutter, you also really need to implement daily and weekly cleaning routines. Your home cannot be cozy, it can't be a sanctuary if it's a mess. <laughs> and making sure that you take the time, little bits every day, it doesn't have to be a lot, to clean your home is not only gonna keep it cozy, but you're gonna enjoy it so much more. So I know, like I said, that's a little elementary, but get rid of that unwanted clutter and make sure you're implementing cleaning routines. That's really gonna get you on the journey, on the right track to creating a cozy home. So if you wanna create a cozy atmosphere in your home, lighting is key. Lighting is your best friend. And ideally, you know, you would be able to open up the blinds, it's a beautiful sunshiny day, and you could get some natural light in the house. But I know that's not always the case. Those days are few and far between. I'm always thankful for them, and I will always take the vitamin D when I can, but it's not always possible. Like today, it's 15 degrees outside, overcast and snowing. So not getting much natural light, but I still have the windows open, but I have my entire main living lit through lamp lighting. Uh, if you wanna create a cozy home, don't use your overhead lighting. I definitely don't recommend it. I have it off unless I absolutely have to turn it on and I light the house with warm light bulbs. I have lamps in my kitchen, in my dining room, in my living rooms, uh, obviously my bedrooms, every room of the house minus my bathroom. I have lamps and they create such a warm, soft glow. Uh, like I said before, make sure you're getting a warm light bulb. You don't want to use cool tone or daylight because that's not going to give you that warm sort of cozy glow that you're going for, but lighting is key. You definitely want soft ambiance, nothing harsh, none of those overhead lights. Uh, turn those off, turn the lamps on, and <laughs> it definitely helps during the winter months. The next tip I have for creating a cozy home is layering textures. You can add so much cozy dimension simply by bringing in a new texture into the space. And with that comes an endless pool of possibility. There are so many textures that you can add to a space. You can totally work with your personal preferences. Some of my favorites, at least looking around in this room, I love wicker. I have wicker accent chairs in my dining room. I use wicker baskets all over. I love wood accent 
accents. I use lots of cutting boards and um, wood furniture pieces. I love ceramics. I'm a big fan of ironstone. I collect some, you can see behind me here. Let's see what else. I love big chunky knits, especially in the winter. I have knit throws and knit pillow covers. Uh, drapes are probably one of the better ways to add some texture. I have simple white linen drapes, but they add a really pretty softness and coziness to a space that I love. But like I said, really the possibilities are endless. There are, there are lots of textures. Just make sure that you use a handful of them and it's going to create a really cozy space. in any given room in your house, at least a room that you really want to be cozy, you should have something that's living and something that's loved. And what I mean by that, something living, the obvious answer would be a live plant, a house plant perhaps, but it doesn't have to actually be alive. Uh, faux greenery and faux florals are okay too because they still give the essence of bringing life to the space and sort of just creating life in the space. It's amazing how you can have a room furnished, but until you add that floral arrangement or those fresh cut greens or that house plant, the space really does um, come alive once those items are added so definitely recommend having something living <laughs> and then what I mean by something loved now this this again the possibilities are endless here but something that's maybe uh, handed down to you from a relative or a loved one or maybe something you've just had a long time that you really cherish or maybe somebody else <laughs> loved it for a long time maybe it's an antique that was just really really well taken care of and now it's in your care um, because having something sort of old and loved and worn and something that you're proud of is gonna create sort of this soulful nostalgia to your home or to that space um, again, creating a cozy space, something living, and something loved. And last but not least, don't forget your sense of smell. It doesn't matter how beautifully um, visual, how stunning a home is or room is in your home. If it doesn't smell good, if it doesn't smell like home, it's not going to be as enjoyable. Uh, different ways that you can create a cozy smell in your home, baking, baked goods like cookies, cakes, muffins, breads, always smell amazing. Their aroma just tends to linger for the entire day and I love baking day. It always smells so good in the kitchen. On that same note, during the winter months, I try to uh, cook more things that simmer for long periods of time, um, like soups and um, stews and different things like that that smell good all day long cooking on the stove there's something cozy about that Being away from food of course you can also use candles that's my favorite way uh, there's nothing i love more than a cozy candle on a gloomy day in a clean house uh, just getting work done around the house and smelling whatever uh, fragrance I'm currently burning is just, mm, it's my favorite thing in the whole world. <laughs> it just brings a sense of peace and calmness. Uh, in the same way, diffusing essential oils has that same effect. Um, and then also maybe just keeping fresh cut flowers in the kitchen or bathroom or bedroom or wherever you like. You can buy individual flower stems a lot of the time in the floral department at the grocery store for super inexpensive. Just get a few, cut them, make a pretty arrangement, leave them sitting on the counter and um, they will be smelling fresh for about a week or so. So lots of different ways, but just don't forget your sense of smell. I hope that you enjoyed today's tips. I hope that maybe you got some ideas, some encouragement, and some inspiration for your own home. If you did like today's video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend or a loved one. Uh, that really helps my channel out and I appreciate you guys 
more than you know. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And if you do happen to be new here today, welcome. My name is Amy. I am a stay-at-home mom in Ohio, and I live in an 1800s craftsman-style home uh, where I share lots of homemaking inspiration and tips just like this. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you are new. I'd love to have you. And I'll see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye. Bye. Maggie, this isn't gonna work. Yes, we love you. We love you. Yeah, but I gotta film this video, okay? I know. <laughs> okay.